One industry that's boomed in lockdown is insurance as more of us take steps to secure the things that are precious to us. I've been talking to the head of the new insurance startup WeFox about the impact of this pandemic on the global insurance industry. You know, I think insurance is something we all need. It has been a great industry. It's been around as a way to protect liabilities and ensure that we have safety in mind. And I think that will continue. So there's no fundamental change in the concept and philosophy of insurance. But as you know, technology that we use today, the information that we have in your mobile phones, for instance, or the way we are sharing our applications, there are so much more information that can give you much more precision information around the way you live, rather than doing the traditional industry, which was more demographic driven, so that the change is really about personalization. Talk to me as a customer. This is a $5.2 trillion market. Uh, how can tech and uh, AI help it innovate and grow? And what does this all mean for me as the consumer and the customer and the way that I do banking and the way I buy insurance? AI is a tool that can give you better analytics around what we do. When you're trying to buy your insurance, you, have to, you don't even know who your broker is often. You don't even know what products are using. So ability to have all that information in your fingertip, on your phone, so that you can be able to go in and out of different insurance policies and knowing exactly what the economics are is something that I believe people want, something that people should have. A more democratizing the whole insurance industry that a mystery other than you write a check every year and you forget about it until something happens to you. Just like today with Amazon.com, you have a much better option of what you want to buy, what choice you have, what brand you want, and you can switch when you're not happy with that. And I think with the today with the mobility and cloud information, you can we can be able to bring that sense of infrastructure, enterprise, right into your fingertips in your home. The pandemic has forced lots of companies to uh, accelerate innovation, and it's highlighted the need for disruptors right across industries. Uh, as a Silicon Valley entrepreneur, I wonder what you've learned from the pandemic. I actually call this the four Cs. And the first C is, of course, COVID-19. But there are three Cs that have an implication to it. I believe that are really, really critical. One of them is really around consumer because the consumer that used to be behaving certain way, now you can be able to work from anywhere. You can buy things from online. The whole digitalization of consumer has accelerated. And I think the other C that I talked about is China. Clearly we are in the China that are working with a large number of audience around the world. So it's creating a um, major, major changes in the way we work with each other. So in a world where we uh, all depend on each other, we need a better signal to coordinate so that we can be able to manage, for instance, supply chain much better than the way we do. I think the last C would be chips. Typically it requires 1,300 semiconductor parts to build a car. But if you miss the one part, you cannot build a car. And this is a big issue. So we need to make sure we can all work together, understanding overall supply chain. And I think it's going to be like this for a while until we get over and coordinate better. And we really do need the global systematic thinking in how we signal each other in managing supply chain going forward.